This is my first time driving it. I'm doing 70 right now, man. I was just doing about 85, man. Don't tell the cops. But uh, yeah, this thing rides. Let's get it, y'all. Let's go, man. Welcome back to Chuck's Daily Hustle, man. I need all of y'all right now. Wait a minute. Hold on. Before we do the intro, y'all, we're picking up that intrigue, the Oldsmobile intrigue that I promised I would show y'all today about. That didn't even make any sense of what I just said, but whatever. Here's the intrigue, y'all. It's got a oh, it's got this look a little weird. All right, it's got the aftermarket rims on this joint. That's gonna be a seller. Got a little rust, of course. I always give y'all disclaimer. We in Minnesota, baby. October. Okay, so the the actual tabs are gonna expire before the end of this month or at the end of this month. But we got a nice little decent car. I got some parts right here, y'all. Got some parts, man. That's for the Avalanche, y'all. Let's open up this car real quick. Throw the backpack down. Give y'all a once over on this thing. I forgot how many miles is on it. Um, let me see if it's open. No, it's not open. Open that joint up real quick. Hopefully she fires right up. Some of y'all remember this place. Some of y'all don't. Let's see. Oh, okay, we got one of them. One of those ignitions. Start it right up. Power steering wine. Uh-oh. Low oil. Oh, need an oil change. I should probably go straight to get an oil change, actually. Since we already we gotta drive it. Let me check these windows out. This is my first time seeing the car, y'all. So this window does not work. This one does. Um, let me grab my, wait a minute. Let me show y'all the interior, I guess. Two-tone leather, so that's good. Of course, the sunroof. Let me see if this thing works. Okay, that's good. I think I'm gonna make some money on this one. Let me grab all my stuff real quick. Throw this up in the car. I might get the fob uh, made so that we can have keyless entry. That shouldn't cost me too much probably like 50 bucks tops throw that up in there got my trusty backpack with me y'all with all my fun tools in there um so if you guys are looking for any type of tools man um that i use make sure you go down in the links in the description below you guys and do not forget man hit the thumbs up button for your boy man for sure for sure oh uh, brake lights on too dang let me see all right all right the brake light was on i had to release the brake okay so we good there. It does got the low cooling, like I said, and then the low oil. So I'm gonna get an oil change. Um, and then of course we got a low power steering. So we're gonna have to get an oil change and then check for leaks. Um, but it is what it is. How many miles on here? 179,000 miles on here, y'all. Let me see if this works. Yeah, that works. That's good. The AC is already on a little bit. Let me see. Cut that down a little bit. See if we can get that cool while we um, getting up out of here. Power seats, okay. Okay, now we just gotta see how this thing drives. I gotta find me a a dang uh, oil change spot near. That's the one thing I don't got, y'all, is my uh, my fluids. Cause I was, oh, I got dropped off, y'all. I'm tripping, man, I'm forgetting everything. I got dropped off, y'all. Um, I took a lift out here. I decided that I wanted to work today alone. It's been actually pretty good. That's why I've been able to get y'all some more content when I just by myself, y'all, opposed to like with my brothers or whatever. Um, yeah, so let me get this on the road real quick and then I'm gonna be gonna test drive the joint. Let's get it. All right, y'all. As y'all can hear, that blinker is out. One of these blinkers is out. We have to get that replaced too. Let's see how she rolled though. That's the big thing. Let's see how that engine and train he do. Okay. Okay, okay. She doing what she gotta do. Suspension seem to be tight. Yeah, this got the 3.5 motor in here too, just in case y'all didn't know. Let's see. Still got his power. Okay, we up to 60. Oh, okay. Okay, I see you, little baby. Yeah, all right. So this one, <laughs> this might be some money right here, y'all. So I'm gonna get this oil change. We're gonna see what happens. Um, and then I'm gonna have to bring this out to my mechanic a little later and then uh, see if it's got any, where, where the leaks are coming from. If it, We'll just see what, what happens, y'all. But yeah, so far, so good, man. Um, oh, we got a full tank of gas? This might be my little beater for the next couple of days, y'all. <laughs> oh, man. So, a uh, little fun fact about me, y'all. The first car I ever, ever really had. Like, I, so, I had my first car when I was 
15 or 14. My first car was a, a 94, it was 94 or 92 um, Lincoln uh, town car, all right, y'all? It was beat up, it was the box joint. Um, so I had that before I even had my driver's license. Then I had a Chevy Caprice Classic Bubble. I had that joint, same color, both of them was burgundy. And then what did I have after that? So then my my, my boy, one of my mentors, man, um, before he passed away, um, you know, rest in peace, Charles, man, um, he uh, had gave me a Oldsmobile Cutlass, but he, like, I didn't go pick it up and he had passed away. So I had that, um, but technically I didn't, but you know, it was a thought that counted. So anyways, man, um, I had that and then I ended up uh, getting me after that, cause those cars was just like kind of BS. Um, I ended up getting me at the age of like 17 or 16, um, I ended up getting me a Oldsmobile Alero. Um, so I got me an Oldsmobile Alero, y'all. It had a 3400 motor in it, and it wasn't too terrible, man. I'm not even gonna talk crap about the 3400 like that. I know the head gas is supposed to be bad, the, the motor's supposed to be trash, and all that stuff. But being in this intrigue reminds me of when I was a little kid, so this really feels good, y'all. So, um, anyways, enough with all the stories. Let's get to where we gotta go. Let's get this day on the road. Let's get it. Woo! Sheesh! Taking over, taking off. Like it got the like got the stats. I'm up, 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 we are, we are, at Valvoline, you guys, I know everybody's probably like, why would you go back to Valvoline, why, because none of my mechanics can do an oil change, so I'm doing it here, this is the only Valvoline that I'll go to, man, um, this is the one out in Ramsey, Minnesota, so, getting this knocked out and then we're gonna keep it moving and grooving let's get it okay y'all so i'm back at the office with the intrigue well, i'm not back i just got here to the office i'm with the intrigue y'all right there you know feeling good about that man i just took the pictures up on it and uh i'm gonna get ready to get it posted a little later or whatever um once i do what i gotta do um but i'm not going i'm gonna leave this car here y'all i'm hopping in the ford fusion over here i don't even know if i showed y'all this car man let me show y'all real quick i gotta get this stuff moved over to my parking spots. Uh, hold on. This little ignition is just weird. And this little tree. But yeah, man, it drove real good. Um, the, it didn't overheat or nothing. Engine trainee did what it needed to do. So we straight, man. Got that fresh oil change. The only thing is that that cooling light did stay on. Um, it wasn't even low, so it's just a sensor. Um, so I'll explain that to whoever uh, ends up buying the car. Um, they did. The power steering fluid was low, but they did not um, notice any leaks. Um, from what they saw so um you know it kind of is what it is um but we'll we'll do what we gotta do man we'll verify everything but i wanted to show y'all what i'm about to actually pick up real quick y'all i don't know if i showed y'all on the, the vlog from yesterday but y'all gonna see it now hold on doing a little bit of maneuvering but here she go man got the uh not the lacrosse man i know y'all was looking at that pretty little thing right there that's tweezies right there then we got that Acura MDX over there sitting there. But this is the, the Ford Fusion. I think I did show y'all this. But, man, if you guys saw the interior before, man, this thing was disgusting, man. This is my detail guy out at the shop, at the office, y'all. And this dude, man, by far, man, he the, he the coldest one, man. I'm going to go ahead and give it to him. He got the less mistakes that he makes on, on stuff. I don't really got it. Um you know go over his work or nothing um if he missed something it's gonna be very seldomly that he does do that um i mean you man you just can't beat that man um so the reason why i'm bringing this car y'all is because the inside door handle is broken so i'm thinking that the cable is messed up that usually what goes wrong with it so i'm getting ready to drop this off um we'll swap it off a little later um when i get either my impala or whatever gets done out there my other mechanic at the storage y'all he is not there so man I, i'm just kind of at the mercy of all these mechanics right now in detail shops and stuff like that getting everything serviced so um we can do only what we are allowed to do right now but i'm not even gonna trip on it i do want to show you guys another thing that i'm about to get ready to do as well um on this car before we get listen man, i'm just so impressed with what he did with this interior y'all this stuff this was just grimy and disgusting man he just did his thing with it man for real like i feel like i'm gonna get some money off of this for sure now uh, all right let me see let me show y'all what i'm gonna do so as you guys can see man this it's rust all over the place right here man um and then it's rust on this side 
it doesn't look as bad as it was. I'm, I'm gonna just lie to, to y'all because I'm gonna lie to myself. <laughs> but but um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna end up just like spraying that. I'm not finna rebuild it or nothing. Somebody gonna want a cheap little car, man. So I keep on telling y'all that. Just like they gonna want this little cheap little car right here. So um, go ahead and drop this joint off, man. And we gonna hop on the road. I had somebody hit me up today, y'all, for, um, what did they hit me up for, man? Uh, what car was that? Oh, the Chevy Cobalt, man. So the Chevy Cobalt, I should be showing that at 6.30 tonight. Um, I'm probably gonna end up seeing you guys at that time because I don't have any more work to do, man. So I'll see you guys in a couple hours. Hey y'all, I know I said I was gonna see y'all at 6 30, man, but this thing, man, this this is my first time driving it. I'm doing 70 right now, man. I was just doing about 85, man. Don't tell the cops. But uh yeah, this thing rides good, y'all. Like, I'm amazed. Like, no cap. Yeah, man. I, I I'm pretty sure whoever comes and looks at this car the first time, they're gonna buy this car, man. For sure, for sure. Let me get that door cable fixed. Oh, and I found a door cable for $12, man. You can't even beat that, bro. So I'm I'm gonna be in budget for sure, for sure with this thing. Um, but anyways, man, I'll see y'all a little later. What's up, y'all? Let's just get this out of the out of the way right now, y'all. Crack jokes if you want to, man. I just took my hair down, man. I know I look crazy. It is what it is, man. But what we got going on right now, y'all, is I'm gonna give you an update first. First and foremost, my appointment for the Cobalt did not show you guys. So unfortunately, we don't got a money face, but it is what it is, man. Um, good news is that my G6 is, might, may be done. Um, I won't know until I actually take it on a longer test drive. Um, if you guys remember the G6, I was having a little issue with the traction control. So I gotta see if that's gonna pop back up or it's not. If it doesn't, then we're good. If it does, then we gotta bring it back. But I'm bringing the Ford Fusion, swapping that out right now because I'm going to get the um, door handle fixed. I'm getting the door handle fixed. And then I did start smelling a little bit of coolant, man. So I gotta have him check that out too. So I'm just gonna drop this joint and then we're gonna keep it moving and grooving, man. So um, I'm gonna pick up that G6, man. We're gonna take it on a test drive real quick, see what it does. And uh, hopefully we'll be straight, man. Let's see. Here's that G6, man. The lighting is terrible out here. So it is what it is, but we about to get up out of here, y'all. Take this thing on its test drive. AKA to the La Casa, and then we out of here, man. So let's see what she do. Okay, y'all, so we're about five minutes into the drive. It's driving pretty dang good. No traction control light is on, which is dope. Um, the mass airflow sensor was cleaned. It wasn't replaced, and it is, uh, when I started it up, the RPMs weren't doing that crazy stuff that it was doing before. Um, so that's super dope. So I think we might be straight, man. Um, Especially if that man, I'm happy if this thing is straight for real, for real. Because I thought I was gonna be spending a lot of money, so we just got up to six. Let me slow it down before we get pulled over, y'all. Um, but yeah, man, I'm on my way to the house, man. I'm getting ready to go to bed, man. We got a long day tomorrow and an early day tomorrow. Um, so I will see you guys on the next video. I do appreciate you guys, like always, man. Um, and I do apologize for man not uploading, but at the end of the day, man, everybody got a life, and uh, that's what I've been trying to live, man. But I'll see you on the next one, man. I'm out. Peace.